Hey guys, this is Ben here from Twig Cycles in Hagerstown, and we get a lot of questions about what's the difference between a Ranger 1000 and the Ranger XP 1000. So today we're going to go over that a little bit. Um, first of all, I want to start with the Ranger XP 900, and we'll get into the 1000 and where I'm starting out with this, you'll see why. So if we go back a couple of years, prior to 2021, um, Polaris was offering for a long time the Ranger XP 900 uh, with power steering. Um, this was available in quite a few variations, um, but it was a three passenger wide machine as you can see here. Um, it was a 900cc machine, about 68 horsepower and uh, you know 1,000 pound bed capacity, you know large fuel capacity. The towing rating was right around 2,000 pounds. Uh, which is 500 pounds down from like the Ranger 1000, uh, which is 2,500 pounds worth of towing capacity. Um, but, you know, it was around a 68 horsepower machine. Okay. So just to kind of give you that, what Polaris actually did in 2020, uh, I believe it was right around 20, 2021, um, they actually did away with the Ranger XP 900. And then they went to the Ranger 1000. So after Polaris got rid of the Ranger 900 XP, if you go to their website and kind of peruse through, go up to the menu here, go to vehicles. We type on in three seat. You're going to see we have the Ranger 1000 and we have the Ranger XP 1000. So I'm going to click on the Ranger 1000. This is what actually took place of the Ranger XP 900 and i'll get into the xp 1000 in here in just a minute um and if you go to the, their trim color trim and color options here they kind of work backwards a little bit they start with kind of their mid-level ranger 1000 but essentially if you go down to the ranger 1000 here <clears throat> the ranger 1000 offers you essentially the the bare minimum uh necessities so you're still getting uh, whereas the 900 was a 2,000 pound towing capacity type machine, still had 68 horsepower. Um, the Ranger 1000, essentially you're getting the Ranger 900 and an additional 500 pounds worth of towing capacity. Now, they don't show it here, I believe, on their website, but this actually has a little bit more torque than what the Ranger 900 did. So even though, if you look, we drop down in horsepower from 68 to 61, uh, we do have a little bit more torque than what the Ranger 900 XP used to have. And you'll see in this Ranger 1000, they offer it in red or green. Okay. Now I want to go back here and you'll see if I click on Ranger 1000, they have quite a few different variations of the base model run 1000. And, you know, the reason here is, you know, let's say, hey, I, I do need a three person wide machine, uh, but I don't need all the the fancy bells and whistles. I don't need the power modes. I don't need fancy seats or anything like that. If that's the case, but you still need a little bit more towing capacity, but I need, you know, a little bit more uh, cabin space. That's when, you know, if it's easier on the budget, you can go with the Ranger 1000. And what they did essentially, this has the same motor as the Ranger XP 1000. Um, you go from a dual overhead cam on the XP to a single overhead cam on this Ranger 1000. So that's where you're, you know, you're still getting a little bit of that torque uh, around 61 horsepower. You know, we get a lot of folks that come in and say, Hey, I don't quite need anything around the 80, 80 plus horsepower range. Um, and I'm trying to stay within a budget. We usually try and direct them towards this Ranger 1000. It's a great machine. Um, you know, again, you're right around, uh, it's the same body and, and, uh, chassis as the Ranger XP 1000. Um, but if you start your way up, you'll see this machine doesn't actually have any, any, you know, kind of thrills and frills, uh, no bumper, no power steering. And that's where you kind of go up to the Ranger 1000 with power steering here. You'll see, uh, and as with Polaris, this is very common. You never just get power steering with their machines you always get like an additional little accessory they don't like really quite tell you about but like if you look at this one this actually comes with a front bumper uh, so you get the power steering from if you go from 14,000 to 15 four essentially you're not just getting the power steering you're also getting that front bumper uh, right there as well which is going to be healthy if you do any kind of winch uh, insulation you know plow led lights stuff of that nature and then, of course, if we work our way up, you have the Ranger 1000 Premium Package Winter Prep. And then they also have the Ranger 1000 Premium, which is really cool, which essentially gives you the same seats kind of out of the XP 1000 uh, and a lot of that really cool styling. Uh, but again, kind of, you know, you're still $2,000 less 
than an XP1000 right here. So just pay attention to that price. Uh, you're still about $2,000 less, whereas if you step into the XP1000 with the power modes and all the other thrills and frills, you're, you're stepping into that 18,000 range, okay? So just to kind of summarize a couple things, you have your XP1000, which I'll get into, and then you have your base model Ranger 1000. There again, you go from a, a dual overhead cam to a single overhead cam machine. You're still getting a three passenger wide machine, um, you know, uh, at a little bit lesser horsepower, but more torque than what the 900 has, okay? Um, but you're still getting that three passenger wide machine, the 2,500 pound towing capacity, um, you know, the front bumper, the big, large, uh, you know, front bumper there on the front. You know, you're getting all the, all the necessities out of the Ranger 900 plus a little bit more torque. And uh, I think the other thing too, Polaris was trying to consolidate, you know, bodies and, and, and chassis and stuff like that. So now all they have to do, hey, we get this Ranger 1000 body and chassis, you know, which machine are we making here? Base model or the XP? So now what we're gonna jump into, I'm gonna go from the Ranger 1000 up to this Ranger XP 1000. So this is really cool. So um, on the Ranger XP 1000, again, kind of going back from what I, what I just said, I'm gonna reiterate a lot of things here. You go from a single overhead cam on the base model Ranger up to the dual overhead cam on an XP 1000 Ranger. And if you notice right there, loud and proud, horsepower bumps up quite a bit. So you go from a 61 horsepower base model Ranger 1000 up to an 82 horsepower Ranger XP 1000. Still get 2,500 pounds towing capacity, still 13 inches of ground clearance. Um, which can fluctuate depending on the tires of the machine that you get. Um, they do change tire size and wheel size based off of which machine, which variation you purchase essentially. Um, but here we have our Ranger XP1000. Um, this is a really cool machine. Um, what Polaris does, you know, they try to make everything very uh, lock and ride, very plug and play, easy for the buyer to do installs and stuff like that. So you'll see kind of right at the, at the bottom there under includes, you'll see six position Polaris pul uh, pulse bar. What that means is essentially you have your, your plug and play set up underneath the hood of the machine to install your lights, uh, winch, all sorts of other accessories. Um, working our way up, premium interior accents. So you have all the nice fit and finish, the high quality Polaris, um, you know, the seats, the headrests, the steering wheel, the fit and finish of the dash is a lot nicer. You'll see uh, working our way up there. You'll see we have a three mode uh, throttle control, 11 inch suspension travel, and then you go up to the pro armor, the eight ply pro armor tires, which are really nice, tough tires you know eight ply is definitely something nice to have if you're working around you know um construction sites farms ranches um and let's see you know what let's actually hop into it here polaris has a great feature on their website you can actually kind of do a walk around on the machine so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to show you the inside of this ranger xp 1000 so this is really neat we can kind of spin this around and this is what the xp 1000 would look like in in gray so there again, we have 13 inches of ground clearance, nice beefy eight ply tires. That's phenomenal. That's great to have. Big beefy front bumper there. Um, depending on which variation of the Ranger you get, uh, you can step into and get you know LED headlights and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and check out the interior here a little bit. And uh, I will say some of this stuff you do not get on the base model Ranger. So you'll see right up there, you have some knobs kind of right below. There's, there's five positions there two knobs there. One's going to be your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and uh, turf mode, and one's actually going to be your power mode. So this machine actually comes with a uh, three-mode uh, uh, selector, uh, engine mode selector, essentially. So you have, you know, a work mode, a standard mode, and a sport mode, and all, that's not changing your horsepower, but what that is doing actually is, is uh, mapping out the throttle response. So, you know, if you're working, you know, you put it down in the work, put the machine in low gear, uh, it's going to be a lot smoother operating, and if you really want to kind of ram and jam through the trails, you can put it into sport mode. Um, but you can kind of see if we work our way down, we have the nicer seats from Polaris, pretty nice quality there, nice quality steering wheel, all the fit and finish, everything you see up there on the dash is very clean, very nice setup. You have a lot of storage. You'll see we have two kind of glove boxes over there by the passenger seat. We have some cup holders. We have some spots that we can throw our sunglasses and gloves. We have storage down underneath the dash. We also see we have some 12 volt accessory outlets and right there in the middle, you also see we have a uh, our battery tender, our trickle charger slot. And then if we also, if we were to flip up this, this passenger seat, it's kind of a bench seat 
seat is connected there, the middle and the, the far right seat. There's actually storage underneath that seat, so that's pretty cool too. Um, Polaris did a phenomenal job with these machines, just kind of thinking outside the box. So hopefully this video has kind of helped you guys out a little bit. Um, if you don't, uh, if you haven't had the chance to, I do recommend that you hop on Polaris' website. You know, you can actually hop on here and it's really neat. You can accessorize, you know, your, your machine to however you really want it. You know, we get the roof there with the LED light bar. You know, let's say if I'm using this machine for, you know, let's say I'm gonna use it for a plow in the driveway. I can throw a plow blade on there, pretty cool. So that's really neat and you can kind of spin the machine around and see how all your accessories look on there so but if you guys ever have any questions on this stuff give us a call uh our phone number at twig cycles is 301-739-2773 you can always ask your questions in the comment section below in my youtube page so uh please like and subscribe uh hopefully this video answers some questions and uh, if you have any questions you know like i say just uh leave them in the comment section below i'm here to help you guys so thanks a lot for watching